The Psycho P Show, a.k.a. The World's Worst Name Podcast. More episodes, more stuff. And it's all about killing fools. Um, killing them loudly. Oh, that's sick. Bitches hey, are prowling. Dude, this guy's license plate says Avatar. And short shorts are in. His license plate says Avatar. Avatar. Guarantee, if we, if we like, busted in that door, you know, theoretically, and we looked inside, he would not have blue skin. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. But he might be 3D. He could be 3D. Bro, do you know what the Russians got, like, what kind of scam the Russians got going on in Brooklyn right now? So, they have these medical trucks, right? They just, like, drive around and they, like, measure, like, old people's heart rates who are on, like... Medicare? Yeah. And they fucking charge like two like two grand a bit or something. <laughs> <laughs> yo, straight up. They got like a little medical yo, yo, like it's so fucking hilarious. Yo, these Russians are really ruining me. Yo. So yeah, so they drive around like and they like it's funny, all the Russians like know each other in Brooklyn. Yeah. So like, ev- like everyone's on Medicare and they like literally just like drive around. The fucking houses of the people they know, like measure the fucking temperature, uh, you know, measure temperature, do this, that. Oh, they the scam heart. their own people. They don't give a fuck. They, no fuck. So, I mean, they sometimes they even split the profits with that actual person. Like they'll make a deal, but yo, I'm gonna like, uh, you know, I'll do these sales. I'll split it with you, whatever, fifty fifty. Or like whatever. Oh, it is. Sick. <laughs> Legit all day, dude. They do this shit all day. I'm fucking with it, dude. Uh, that's so fucking Old funny, trick. man. Or how about? Wait, no, no, so explain to me how it works. They're like, they just overcharge. Oh. They just overcharge the ser- for the... Yeah. For the service? Is that what it is? Um, no, bro, because, like, it's like it's weird. They just do all these unnecessary tests and shit, you know? Oh, but then they, they collect for it. So they're, like, sort of legitimate, but not legitimate. Yo, what's cracking? Dude, am I, like, too... Far into the road? I can't tell. A little bit, but you're all right. Really? Yeah, it's okay. They say these lanes can, like, hold two cars, bro. Right inside. I mean, you are, are you sure? Yeah, dude, but this fucking guy with his high beams is, like, literally illuminating the inside of the car like it's daylight. Like, look at Belle. Like, I can see her clear as day. It's sort of crazy. Belle was cracking, y'all. Yo, dude. Are you okay? You're like paranoid as shit just because yeah. of the distance. No, like it's fucking weird, dude. I think, I think I'm super fun. No, like if the car comes through that road, comes on this, like I'm like literally in the middle of the fucking... Nah, you're not. I'm about bugging out. I can't You're tell. bugging for sure. You're straight bugging, doggy. Watch, watch. Look. They don't give a fuck. But this lane. I understand. Like this closest lane. I understand. But I still think that you're okay. I mean, don't you... Isn't this a Prius, dude? What are we in right now? Did you just fucking call this a Prius? <laughs> this ain't no Silverado, my nigga. Yo, this ain't no Chevy Silverado like a rock. Between the like 8,750 at your local dealership. Yo, baby? Yo, um... Do you like pale chicks? Or, like, fair chicks? I or don't tan dis- chicks? I, I don't discriminate. Me neither, but what would you prefer? I don't have that many fucking choices where I... I just like how the mix goes for that particular chick. The personality, the look, everything. No, I don't know, dude. If I'm under the influence, who the fuck knows, honestly. It's like, Holy shit. You saying you do dudes? Um, I'm saying I can't really judge how hot a chick is when I'm, like, super fucked up. But I don't get oh, drunk yeah, anymore, either. so... Oh, well, so that's, that's good. That's so good. That's good. That's always nice. That's nice. Hey, remember when um, you fucked up with that one chick you were saying? Yeah. And then you got together with the... The one that low key lonely stabbed you in the back for? Stabbed me in the back. Damn, yo, that that chick back there is fine. There's a bunch of bad bitches right now in Mill, which doesn't make sense because it's like what a Tuesday uh, yeah, no, all, off non college year, non during the summer session. I said non college years. The fuck am I talking about? Yeah, it's a pretty nice street. 
Yeah. I like this spot. You know, a lot of times Mills seems like a little crowded, not just the street wiser because the people, just because everything seems sort of like squished together. Mm. But I, it seems more open now. Like they allow the bars a little bit more space. Like look at zips and shit, you know. Mm. But you know what I think? Y'all can suck a dick. I feel like you should roll down the window and tell them that. Yo, these girls are wearing short shorts right now, man. That's not. That's not. Nice. That's nash. Yo, that's very nice. Yo, are we doing it up tomorrow? Why are you trying Yuck to get, trying to get fucked up? Oh, I mean, we don't need to get fucked Two up. Two Long Island that's iced teas? Uh, is that your drink? I mean, Dude, that's the drink. I mean, the, we yeah, get hit, drink that, drink. I would only drink that at Q Club because that's their drink over there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. At, at Yucca, I mean, let's get some beers, man. Oh, at Yucca? They got, they got an awesome beer collection. Do you know people at Yucca? Nah. I think my homie um, is like occasionally the... Uh, the DJ there. I knew it. I knew. I knew you knew somebody at Yucca. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm not promoted for them. I might know someone there, right? But I'm no, not promoted for them go. like you are. You could tap her. Why don't you say? Yeah, the, you might as well Colorado. say the address, right? On the fucking. All right. It, it is. <laughs> I guess. I guess. Meal. Yeah. <laughs> marijuana doctor and guy. 1952 shot. suck a dick. Yeah. No. I think. Um, I think that we've done a lot of good promotion for them so far. And we'll continue to do it for them. For no charge, said the fucking losing podcast owner. Right. I was actually here at this bar just taking random shots waiting for a light row the other day. Random shots? Random shots. Rando oh, shots. tequila action? I did, actually. Good call, good call. Yeah, man, you know me, man. Oh, I'm gonna beat this thing. Damn, hit that yellow. Yeah, always. Yo, I mean, what do you think about this puddle we're about to drive over? This man-made fucking puddle called Tempe Town Lake. Oh, it's all man-made, obviously. Dude, it's dude. They like drained it, and I thought I heard they weren't gonna refill it, and then it was refilled, and then there's mosquitoes everywhere. Like, come on, you fucks! Like, dead fucking god. Do you know they had to drop like 1.2 million fish to kill the mosquitoes and shit? No way. Yeah, to like eat up the eggs. Oh my god. Like, thanks, you fuck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, why is this even here? It's a zone drop, move. Yeah, drop water that you can apparently drain. Like, Yo, they just drain the lake. What is this? This is, um. It's like a theater? Oh, yeah, no, that's, that's whatchamacallit, dude. <sighs> T- name, um, name little concert halls around here. What is the one that's at the end of Temp? That's oh, fucking Mill, dude. That's the one. It's not really that tight. It starts with an M, I think. Mill. No, no. Um, that's an actual club. I'm just talking like venues where shows are at. No idea. I can't remember. I can't remember because I haven't had my shake done. No. <laughs> Yo, this guy in the scooter is like. He's, he's all an ass, he's dude. 50. Like, oh I didn't God. know... 50 miles an hour. I didn't know scooters could even go that fast. Yo, this guy's from, like... Long Island, for sure. Holy shit, no. First Yo, like did you... Trailer park boy. Do you drink... I mean, is Long Island... Or, excuse me, are Long Island's, like, you drink a choice, bro? Yeah. Really? Well, it's not my drink of choice, but, like, if I want to get fucked up and get down to business, yeah. Okay, then fuck it. Let's do Long Island's, then. I'll do Long Island. No, then we're doing Long Island's at Q Club, dog. Oh, oh dang, doggy. Oh, let's find some Dominican chicks or some Indian chicks to hang out with. Or some Puerto Rican chicks. I mean, listen. Just some brown skin chicks. Be, just yo, some you, white chicks. You can be on plenty of fish, but you're playing. Bro, I just got but my you're haircut. Playing. I just got my haircut, dog. I just got my panty yeah, dropper haircut, man. Panty dropper haircut. You, you, thought, you said it would, it would work. I love <laughs> it, man, but you gotta take a picture now before it grows out. Or, yeah, I know how you Indians grow hair. Oh, just Tomorrow disgusting. I'll be back to like normal Dude back this is my normal You sick fuck <laughs> Yeah I like how you figured out The little back way towards here Do you know how to get it? I mean yeah I didn't know that way But I always figured there was I just didn't give a fuck I don't even Why do I dial here? Uh, 800 cunt <laughs> Pound 0712 Pound Zero seven one two. Oh, pound. Zero seven. Oh, pound zero. There you go. 
You sick freak. I don't even know what we've been talking about. It only took us 10 minutes to get here. What the fuck? Yeah, Z would have been close. He would have been a close, cl- close friend. He would have been no. close. That's not gonna find him. I mean, he's, what do you mean close friend? He's a scumbag. Scum. He would have never been a You're close scum. friend if he is himself, you know what I'm saying? You're a scum. He would have one way or another fucked you over. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. 100%. <laughs> Alright, I'm done here. I like to race my car. I just like to drive fast, but I don't like to race. Yo, Loki's sitting on dubs. Loki? Loki? Are we talking about Loki Lonely? Or? Oh, you, man. Oh, yeah, Loki, I'm sitting on dubs. And Loki, I drive 85 miles an hour on fucking surface streets. But why do people race? Like, these guys, they just want to, like... Like, look, we're further than that. They want to show their dick off, but they are both they both have small dicks, because... Yo, do you think this girl has a big cock? Why would you care? I mean, she has a big stamina cock for her to be able to run that long. <laughs> He's running across the Yo, street. Yo, dude, there's something about these Asian girls that's also kind of hot, no? Yeah, of course. I don't know. I, I, like, I don't know what it is. Red belt? They're, they're petite and they're exotic. They look different. And you know that they come from usually more... They're more probably like us the way we think. Or they understand it more, you know? You feel me? Mm-hmm. Like, when I went in there, like, these guys were just, like, laying around. Watching TV. Yeah, watching TV. You know, literally, like, it was hard, it was hard to wonder, like, no, it was hard to fathom that they could even possibly having any type of real, like, thoughts, you know? I mean, I'm sure they were, but they must have been having this, like, low, weird level where, like, the TV or whatever media just drowns it out, and they're just, like, surrounded in this, like, low vibration state. That's, like, the best analogy I can make of it, you know? When they're just, like... Wow, look at this guy. Is this a cop? No? Nah. Oh, I was about to say, I was like, wow, he's so nice. He's like... Has his hazards on or warning everybody. <laughs> it's like a good guy. A lot of people are just chilling with the energy of a bumbling brook. A slow one, you know? Just like blah 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 blah. Mm-hmm. Agreed. I wonder why though. Like how are they acting like they're retired before they're even thirty or twenty five? Wait, who's there in the whole spot? I don't know, just a couple of them, but I just wonder, like they just, like, love to jump into basketball shorts and chill. Like, it's so crazy to me. Like, I don't get why, why people love to chill so much. Do they really think that they have all this time, like, promised to them? Like, oh, I'm going to wake up tomorrow for sure. Take, take a left here. Yeah, take a left here. And then make the first right. And then it'll be a UE to get the drive through. I'll show you. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, these people, I mean, I used to be like that, too, for a little bit. Because it seems like it's pleasurable, but it's not. It's like the most miserable existence, I feel, to just be chilling. Mm -hmm. Because every day your regrets grow a little bit. And then Mm -hmm. one day you face them and you're like, oh my god. I'm fat and everything sucks. And Mm -hmm. I have no money and I'm 48. And Tinder's not even working for me now. Tinder's not working no more. (laughs) (laughs) I mean... Literally just having chicks to fucking finger and occasionally getting the dick wet is all that keeps these people alive, it seems. Occasionally. Okay. And yeah, the, the, the operative word being extremely Yo, occasionally. Yo, does uh, get laid? Make a Yui. I mean, he says he does. Wait, what? He says he does. And I've, I've honestly, like, I've been in Wait, this place. Wait, where do I go? Once, uh, right here, dude. Oh, uh-huh. I've been, I've been in this place once where this pretty fine chick was there, and, like, what, I could tell that she was sort of feeling him for some reason, so I was like, oh, okay. And then I was like, damn, I must be fat as shit. Yo, don't think, don't, don't think like that of yourself, man. Dude, bitches, used, bitches used, okay, used to like man. me, bro. Bitches used to like me. Now I'm just a piece of shit, apparently. I mean, bitches sort Calling of like girls me. girls bitches and shit. Yo, what's wrong? <sighs> 
You're probably just, you know, answering what it is, man. Alright, hold on, let's, let me, let me pause it while we order here. Do you know what you're getting? One second, miss. Yo, I want a large cake shake. You see the chocolate cake shake no. right there? It's on the third it's window. They only have a chocolate one? They only have a chocolate one, man. That's what I'm okay. saying. Mm -hmm. But they do have normal strawberry large? shakes. Should we shit. get a large one? Yeah, I'm going to get a large. You should get a large, too. They're only like Okay, can I get right. two large chocolate cake shake? I'll look. Uh... Okay. Wait, chocolate vanilla strawberries? They have normal shakes. Those are normal ones. The cake shake is just the best? The cake shake's really good. You can get a normal one no, no, if you no, want. No, 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 I'll go to Do you want anything else or are you good? She's asking uh, you. Spe specialty salad. Yeah. No. Alright, tell her you're good. I'm good, thank you. <laughs> you were crazy. She was literally waiting for you and you're just like, mm -hmm. oh, let me see here. Fuck you, bitch. Yeah. That's what you said I gotta in pick car up form. I gotta pick up a pizza too. Yeah. Watch as I come back here and order more food later. They close at 10. <laughs> These people? I think they close at 10, maybe 11. Fuck. Fuck that you. Sucks, dude. Man, you're looking pretty clean too, man. Yo, we should go out, man. The hair, though. We should go out, maybe get some strange tomorrow. Yeah, sure. Got some. You know? Maybe uh, actually this time. Get a little get... Bill Clinton. Oh. If I just say the Bill Clinton and then you did the Funk Master Flex DJ, the scratch. Bill Clinton, you know, Where? the under the desk. The, oh. <laughs> oh wait, but he wasn't fingering; he was getting his dick Yeah, stuck. but that hand and the head. Ah, uh, uh, oh, my bad. I thought you were like remixing the clit. No. So I thought you were like doing some fingering <laughs> action. I am the clit master. I am the clit commander. What movies are from? I am the clit commander. I don't know. <laughs> I love the clit. I am the clit commander. Oh, that's from Jane Silent Bob Strike Back, right? Probably. Have you seen that movie? Yeah. When I was younger, though. It's been a while, man. I don't like to rewatch it. There's so much shit I still have to watch. I mean, I'll rewatch it, but oh, she's right here. Hold on. Hey. Hi, miss. Hey, two large cake cakes, 927. Hold on. Nine. Oh, yeah, hold on. Turn that down, man. No, no, you're good. I, turn it, I resumed it. Yeah, don't get mad at me, bro. It's okay. Yo, I really bro, how much, do you, how much do you pay for your damn shake? It's like $5 every time. It's like $3. $3.99. No, it's like 3 It's three ninety nine. dollars It's like $3.70. Okay. And this is four twenty nine dollars like before tax. $5. Yeah, it's four twenty nine dollars plus tax. But it bro, has the shake in at... It. Dude, the Jack in the Box shit. Thank you. Trash. Thank you. Have a good night, guys. Thank you, thank you. This dickhead. Anyone who's eating at Portillo's, just, you can curse totally as much as you want. He doesn't know what the hell. Scum. I'm scum. You're the fucking sick fuck. I but, have really sick thoughts sometimes. Is that bad? Wait, left, right? Left, right? Uh, right, right, right. Yeah. No, I used to, I have sick thoughts too, but I've, I've realized that actually most people have sick thoughts. They just, it's, it's whether or not you act on them. And, and the fact that they sort of make you disgusted is good too. Because that, you know, like these things sort of happen. I actually read this like comic book about it, a graphic novel, it was like award winning graphic novel. And uh, I, it made me feel a lot better. Cause I used to be like, dude, I'm for sure dying. I'm for sure crazy. I'm Yo, sure dude, you don't even have the straw in, bro. <laughs> mm. You don't like it? It's not bad. You want to return it? Mm. Just turn it back, bro. We'll return it. No, you don't like it, I can tell. Piece of shit. It's How many bad. times do I tell bad. you? How many times? Have I ever taken you anywhere bad, man? I have a million secrets, man. No, you haven't. <laughs> Cheers mm. You fuck What you doing I told you dude I wonder how they do a strawberry shake I'm sure the strawberry is good Their shakes are good in general I've got a chocolate malt It's good I like strawberry man Strawberry shakes my shit But I'm saying You have to try the cake shake People don't know about it oh. I'm just gonna say Did they put a piece of cake in there 
the app, but it's a perfect amount. You can actually drink it through the straw, but it feels like cake, right? Uh, Roll up the window, you sick fuck. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just happy you like it, man. I told you. Yo, it's very good. Mm. <laughs> we both were like, <sighs> mm, at the same time, I'm like, back. It's like chocolate fudge cake or something. It's good. It's something bomb, dude. They make it there, too. Can you buy the cake? Mm hmm. I don't know when. I think so. I'm pretty sure you can pretty much buy everything there, including people's dignity. Poor Tillos. I knew that that would be a key to Loki. Like a link to Loki. Why? I knew it. You still haven't explained the link to Loki. What was it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Max's. Mm-hmm. His cousin's. Um, yeah, girl. Dude. Everyone's six degrees of separation no matter where they are. Loki pretty much has keys everywhere. And you know what? He's a key of shit. <laughs> so I don't know what you're worried about with a fucking 2.2 pounds of trash. It's stuck onto everything. Fuck him. Fuck him. <laughs> Fuck him. I like that. Mm. I know, man. It's like an Oreo shape of better. Way no, better. Relax. It's like gourmet Oreo shake, but not even with has to do anything with Oreos. Right? Mm-hmm. It's not even like too sweet. It's not. It's like perfect. I mean I really hope whoever came up with this was a woman because I would have sex with them. Well, I'll give up Bell to have sex with them. What do you think, Bell? She's in. She's game. Can this person have any more fucking stickers on their car? Um. Well, let's just say don't drip and dry. What does that even mean? Probably has something to do with shoving, shoving shit in your fucking anal cavity. Of course it would. Yeah. He has a Civic. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, the worst thing is you're driving a Honda too, you sick fuck. Mm-hmm. But mine's an S5. Ah, it's a big difference. Mm-hmm. And mine's stick. His is not. Yeah, I got you. My homie, <laughs> Cali, he drives an S size stick too. No wonder you got so offended when I was like, isn't this a Prius? <laughs> Prius, stop. I'm not one of those Hollywood fucking, you know, li- liberals. Or drive a Prius. Are you a conservative or a liberal? I'm conservatively liberal. I consider myself a realist. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Deflecting, I see. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what do you think? Mm-hmm. No, what do you think? Man? Liberal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But we make fun of liberals. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> we're more conservative than liberals in America. But we're way more liberal than conservatives in America. Why do they sit on both opposite sides of the spectrum when most people really are in the middle? Mm. It's always more fun to pick a side. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It makes you feel like you're more part of a, you know, you're more part of something. Yeah, yeah. That makes it seem like you know something mm-hmm. and you're part of a special group. Mm-hmm. I'm Hence a the Republican. Re- I'm a Democrat. I'm a Republican. Fuck and really, you. and really, they're just dumbasses. <laughs> Dumb people who just listen to some media stuff when other people are just pulling the strings, rubbing each other's back. <sighs> I don't know how you're driving and drinking this shake at the same time. It's sort of a workout a little bit. Cause I had a piece it's of steak. So I had a piece of steak, uh, cake stuck in my straw. 
Dude, I know. I've long. been sucking on this so hard. This one piece of cake didn't want to get out. Hold on. When that happens, you just move the straw up and down a little bit. <laughs> Shake talk, baby. What you know about him? Yo, can I go through the right lane? I can't. I can't see right now. Mm. Yeah, you look open right here. It's closing though. Nice. Um, you look good again. Nice. Team driving shake talk. Uh, dude, that's the only way to drive. Here, hold my beer, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Team driving shake talk while drinking beer. Mm. What the fuck? Nigga, the bus ain't coming for a while. Right. He's like standing out. He's like, where's it at? I remember the bus is pretty big. Yeah, it is. Fuck, you'll see it. When I used to ride the bus, I did the same thing. Though. Chocolate shake. Mm. Cake shake. Cake shake. Five dollars. <laughs> Still on that, huh? <laughs> but I'm just thinking. Five bucks of weed in Jersey is like pretty much nothing. So, so what would I rather have? That little bit of butt or this shake? I would have this shake. Mm -hmm. That's how I think about it. Mm -hmm. But you're thinking about it on the opposite side of the coast. I like that. Yeah. But I don't know how like accurate that assessment is because I feel like you should always judge the market by the market, not by like a different market. Mm -hmm. You know, like just because I can get uh, hula hoops for sixty cents a piece in China doesn't mean I should expect that in fucking San Francisco, right? It's the same ocean, though. Uh, I see the same ocean from here. Yo, would you try one of these right here? A Harley? A Harley, yeah. I think yeah, it's so cool. Yeah, I used to thought they were like the gayer type of bikes, but I actually think I respect them more than the mm -hmm. sports bikes. Because they're like, they're, take strength and shit to like drive that monster. Of course, the slowest lane possible. Mitsubishi Madness in the fucking rain lane right now. Oh my god, this piece of fudge cake. It's like... That <laughs> <laughs> one guy. <laughs> this is the worst podcast ever. Nah, it's not that bad. We've actually been talking about stuff for some too long. Yo, um... What's your favorite... Like, do you have a favorite sport, dude? Yes. Besides figure skating. <laughs> and curling <laughs> South American <laughs> Medicine ball sport. curling I mean dude I like a I like a good Patriots game I like my little You know my Celtics uh, Also you're a Football Basketball dude Pretty much Hockey guys I love hockey But probably my favorite sport Is probably playoff hockey this is the best time of the year. So right and now. And if it's my team playing. So right now. Mm -hmm. But you're not watching any hockey from what I see. It's good if my team's not playing. Gotcha. The Rangers aren't playing. The Red Wings aren't playing. Oh my God, I have no really interest in this. Mm. I can't. Right. I can't do this shit Are you interested in the... Um, the NBA shit that's cracking them right now? Absolutely. What do you mean? The NBA is like one of my favorite sports. Of course. Uh, right now, the playoffs have surprised me. I did not expect Toronto to come tie it up. I did not expect OKC to be up 3-1. <laughs> right? Like, and demolish them in the games that they won. Like, destroy them by like 20 plus points oh, each. No. Like, how is that possible? What's going on? What are you doing, dude? I'm in the wrong plaza. What are you trying to do? The pizza place is right here on the left. I thought it was on the right. Oh, man. You're fucking not my nigga. My sense of direction is all off play. Oh, what's up, baby? Oh, yeah. You, up, earlier, sir? you were like, oh, my God, we're back in Tempe. And the whole time we were in Tempe. You remember that? Yes, yeah, somebody was doing circles, man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's called driving on the street. <laughs> For real though. Yeah, yeah it's someone, on the street. Someone yeah. on the street. <laughs> <You're a> fucking... <laughs> Yeah, for real, driving on the damn street, oh, you fuck. Oh, 
Oh my god. Oh my oh god. Fuck, These guys are sick. Fucked, man. Oh, Bill, yo, relax. Look at this, like, perfect placement of the fucking handicap spot where you can't use it. Should I just chill here? Yeah, I'll just chill. Just here. What a nice guy, what a nice guy. Did you already order the pizza? Yeah. Oh, what a beast. This guy's on top of his shit. It's true. So me and this recorder pauses it. Can you believe that? Oh look, it's recording at a 13 second. It pauses for the call I noticed. They have create some technology probably. Yeah. The fucking S4 came out before um this phone and it's way worse. I think because of updates and shit. But yo, um, yeah, that's what I read, that, um, at gas pumps, the dudes jingle their, like, you know, tap off the pump. And when Was that to done. take it off, or whenever they're locking it after? No, no, after, right at the end. Yep, because I know I do it, and I get, like, the little twist. Yeah, a couple, pro- a couple Cause, drips. Cause you're right, because you want to make sure it's, like, really tight, but not so tight that it's damn near stuck. Mm-hmm. So you give it, like, that extra little tug to the right. right. Exactly, yeah. But, I don't know, It's it could just be... The subconscious thing you develop over filling your gas tank so many times, I mean, I tell you what. This no, but if women don't do it, then what they theorize was that it has to do with our penis. Because we, when we piss, uh, we jingle our dick at the end to get uh, the last one. I wouldn't dish. definitely say for sure, but I would have no doubt that there could be some link between how you use your hands and other aspects of your life, say for us, how we pee or anything with our penis versus women that wipe or, you know, whatever they do, you know, I can't really get too technical on that, so I could definitely see how an action in another everyday thing could facilitate you jiggling your, your lock, I mean, obviously now cars are so different, some have ones that pop off, you know, there's so many different ways that those are done, but yeah, for the most part, I could see if you have just the screw on and off gas cap, that that definitely is something that men would do more frequently than women. Mm -hmm. I want, that would be something if anybody knew that definitely would have to like send that in on like a comment or like if they knew you directly send it directly well like you're saying maybe we just have to videotape 30 cases of men and women and see who does right. it oh the women who might do it might have learned from men <laughs> that's true or they might just be one of those women that was around cars more than other women yeah thankfully there are those like type of women that are like a dime a dozen that definitely know their way or, around a car or we're wrong and everyone does it. <laughs> yeah. Because I know. Come on, get the liquid out. Yeah, that's true. I don't know though. Like, you know how we don't really fathom how women pee. Yeah, I mean, I. You know, I, you know I, when they. I pee. mean, I know how they do it, but it's not something like I really think about. Yeah, so you yeah. know, you know, and this is something like I never really thought about, and I have a degree in biology. It's not necessarily something you'd know, but it's like I think about. To, you know the body and humans all the time. Oh yeah, thank you. This, this, dude, did you know that women pee out of a different hole than they come? Yeah. Than yeah. the than the hole that you fuck. Yeah, I do know that. So I, it's sort of interesting. Yeah, that's what kind of makes our uh, system pretty crazy. Is everything comes out of the same hole? Obviously, there's only yeah, one. Yeah, ours. So. Yeah, it comes out the same hole. What the fuck? I mean, that's how we're like built. So thankful there's not like a. You know, this comes out of your other hole, or you know, you have another hole. I mean, yeah. But you never know. Never. I'm sure. Over the course of evolution, you know, there was definitely different reproductive systems, or did Neanderthals have penises and <laughs> give sex the same women? I'm pretty like up on that, but I'm not exactly sure if it was like along the way Neanderthals. I mean, I imagine by Neanderthals they had like penises and they were reproducing, or reproducing, sorry, by like similar measures. I think they did. Yeah. Not sure. I think, I mean, mm-hmm. well, chimps sort of, all yeah. apes sort of reproduce with similar measures. Even a horse does. Mm-hmm. That's so what I'm I saying. guess, yeah. It seems like by then the structure of mammals has probably been sufficient by that. I mean, once you got a dig. I mean, you know that like dogs have a bone in their dick. Oh, yeah. Bone. 
Mm. And then girls would be like, what, you don't have an actual bone in your teeth? Like, no. I'll it's tell you what, it, it's a series of amount of shit that if you break it, it's obviously possible I'll hear the stories of people breaking their dick. Uh, that's why I don't like chicks riding me. I don't like it. You know, I remember you telling me that. I don't mind it, but it's at the same token. There's always like that. Like there's always like that certain trust, and I think it goes both ways. That's why whenever you sexually trust somebody and the chemistry is right, it is a cool thing. Oh, yeah, I mean, I've let girls ride me if I trust them, but I just, my hips, my shit, it just all fucks up. I of course, like it's it. usually more slender girls, I mean. I don't care. Yeah, but it's always one of those things that, yeah, I mean. Right now, I'm, like, feeling you. I bet, I wonder, I bet 60% or so women probably like doggy style the most anyway. Obviously, yeah, that's what it's like. Obviously, you need variations of shit, so, you know, there's got to be... Like variations of positions or like end of the bed or on like desks and shit. Like you gotta make it interesting for. Oh yeah, 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 but I just don't like I just don't like being on my back and chicken. Which out, which is only one thing. You know how many shit we yeah, all have sexually. Yeah, exactly. I'm good. Yeah, I mean obviously. I just don't feel comfortable yeah. at all. Yeah, I mean my thing is if a chick even had her finger even get to my taint, she get ninja kicked out of like a reaction. I mean, I don't want anything but next man. Next, not even if you go like beyond the balls, I'm already like pulling back. I'm like so. Uh. Yeah, well. and, I mean, and and usually this isn't what chicks that know me because I know how much that would freak me out. But I feel like every chick, if you're over like the age of like 25, she'll ask and like she doesn't like go straight for the ass. But if you've had sex with her a few times. She wants to just get a reaction out of you. Cause I, I don't know if it's like they want to see if you're dateable or like they want to see you get mad. Like I don't really get it, but I I, I don't know. But I think they're about it, that. I, I don't think they really want to do it. But they want to see your reaction. It's just no, like, I think some chicks want to. Do it. No, no, of course they want to do it. That's not to be said. But at the same time, they won't do it because they don't want to like get you that mad. But they want to like get near it and to see how you're gonna react. I mean, it's kind of like some people, some dudes are down with that shit. Oh, of course, and thankfully, you know, there are because I don't have to do it, and chicks can do it with other dudes, and I'll yeah, do whatever, I'm good for really, that. I'm not really with it. But I'm not with it. But sometimes I think I'm like, should I just let someone do it once? And I'm just like, I don't know. <laughs> it's a definite <laughs> I don't, I'm not no. Really feeling it. I mean, but the, and, uh, I was just thinking, I was like, if Halle Berry from Swordfish hit me, then I was like, still no. And you know what? I saw her. I'm not really down with Halle Berry from Swordfish. She has no ass. No, but you know, she's has. She like, has negative ass. Dog. She has I'm like. Not you're right, with that but she has all. like the good qualities. I mean, there. I, I, I liked Hall, I liked Halle Berry from the Flintstones. That shit was tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But Selma Hayek was probably the best looking woman damn in the world for like five, ten years running straight. Yeah, Selma Hayek, maybe in Thirty Rock. She has oh, milky yeah. quality. Oof. Yeah, she's slender, got some curves, has like that light Latin skin from, you know, just the heavens of Latin America. <laughs> <laughs> My homie lives in Colombia, dude. I'm gonna go soon. You know, I wanna do all that. I wouldn't mind going to like Colombia, Venezuela, Peru. There's like a lot of countries. I, I wouldn't do in the Caribbean. I mean, but at the same token, there's a lot of places I don't want to go to. I'm like, gonna go to Russia with my homie. Russia is a place I want to go to. There's certain the places. Totally. Go ahead. Russia's like 11 time zones or some shit across yeah, east dude, to west. It's crazy. So I don't know if I could do the whole east to west, like probably the train, Siberian railroad shit. Nah, I don't want to do that. But I heard that um, when they put in that magnetic railway. Oh yeah, whenever then you then you can go in like five hours. I mean, I uh, been a cultural geography major. I spent a couple semesters studying Russia and some of the former Soviet Union. And there's tons of places outside of you know, well, what's in the old so former Soviet Union. Maybe be places in Ukraine or Belarus or Georgia, parts of uh, Serbia right. that are very beautiful, but. What a lot of people miss is like some of like the places in Russia that are not uninhabitable. Like certain places in Siberia, you can still go like Lake Baikal, the world's largest lake, well not largest, deepest lake. So. Right. And you know there's like Vladivostok, which is damn near on like the South China Sea, damn near because it's in that very slender strip on the very far west coast of Russia that borders China almost. Mm -hmm. You know there's some very like 
outside places that are not as known as tourists. Everybody knows of St. Petersburg and Moscow. You know, they, that's part of, you can do that on a Euro trip because it's in so far Eastern Europe or Eastern Russia. Right. That it's nothing to land in Paris or London and then get over to Moscow and then fly right into Germany and start riding the train all the way through Spain. I mean, mm-hmm. But I definitely agree that if a Russia trip happened, I would be in. Oh, yeah. I mean, I wonder if there'd be any, like, whorehouses and shit in Russia. I mean, <laughs> I mean, in my own country, because it's illegal and there's just, I, it's so easy to get women and I understand how to do it. I would never get a hooker in my own country, but in another country, maybe just as like a bucket list thing to do. I always thought I'd wear a condom and do a spermicide or do whatever. Maybe I'd like wear like a hazmat suit and like check my <laughs> do like a dick in the box routine. I don't know. I do something. <laughs> we try to make it work, but I, I could definitely see getting a hooker in another country just as like a bucket list thing. I mean, if I'm married and have children, I'll scratch that off. But since I don't necessarily want that, if I get over to any foreign country and scratch it off my bucket list I'd definitely just do that and then right. you know if I had a family and a kid I wouldn't sit on the radio <laughs> but since I don't you know it's all good I mean I'm sort of with I, I, I never really thought about that but now that you say it I mean in Amsterdam there's supposed to be like <laughs> of course. all the time and be like I mean that would that would maybe be the place I could see like getting it off my bucket list and getting my feet wet because if I'm like uh, don't do it don't do it we're in traffic people this air conditioning guy I'm set like a private car from the far left lane to the carpool lane where we're at. Yeah. People being jackass on the wall. Definitely. We're about to pass that dolphin shit. You know, there's tons of shit about that. That's, that uh, yeah, the Odyssey Aquarium. They're gonna put dolphins in there? Fuck. Yeah, it's that's good. fucked. Exactly. It's like, they're basically... They're, Are you serious? That's why it's gonna be fucked. It's literally gonna be a I'm big ass... fucking go there. It's gonna be a big ass cement thing in the desert that's literally... Basically, you pay to swim with dolphins. It's basically slave labor and dolphins and shit. Is what they're basically saying. You know, what the fuck? Feet is all against it. It's kind of like a fucked up kind of thing that they're gonna import a bunch of dolphins and shit. You know, I'm not like a. I don't think they're allowed to do that shit. Anymore. I mean, I'm not a huge like PETA guy because there's a lot of shit that these people get up in an uproar and. But dolphins are so yeah, smart. Yeah, there's a difference between. Oh man, I I think the slaughterhouse is a slightly inhumane, but they got 30% more done so they can feed the growing population of America. I'm like, that's the compromise we make for a growing society. Right. But if it's like for upper middle class society, let's bring a bunch of dolphins in the middle of the desert and build this big construction site on Indian reservation it's land. Stupid. And stupid as a motherfucker. I mean, it's like... Stupid and terrible. Just, it's like, wrong. I mean, I'm not trying to be rude, but I mean, these same people could afford to go to existing establishments. Why do we need to have fucking just you know, people swimming with dolphins in Arizona? I mean, we host a lot of big events. It's definitely... I'm not going to do that shit. No, but it'll get on the corporate circuit every time there's the waste management open. Oh, let's go swim with the fucking dolphins. It's like so many miles down the water. Oh, you know, every ten years there's a Super Bowl in Arizona. Let's gotta go swim with the dolphins. I mean, or like, you know, the pat. I mean, there's like so many businesses here. They're old national conventions. All their guys are gonna get to go swim with dolphins and go play golf and like, it'll definitely get added to like the corporate structure and... This shit is so fucked up once you realize how bad it is for them. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm not trying to say that dolphins can't live in captivity to some degree. It's not like you put an orca in that. It's like, uh, obviously, uh, just too big of an animal to be held captive. But to be a... Dolphins, I say, move 40 miles just naturally in a day. Exactly. That you need a fucking container or a lake or some shit that's fucking over 40 miles in radius. Basically, no, no, in diameter. They're obviously gonna get these dolphins from a training ground somewhere where I would not be able to say somewhere in America is probably obvious, but then when they get here, they're pretty much gonna be put in, into a, a decent size aquarium, probably to do shows, but they're holding tanks, you know, you figure overnight, and they're like, oh, man. they're gonna be relatively putrid, you figure. In comparison to their needs. It's fucked up. Fuck these people, dude. Right. I, it's definitely, in, I mean, even like, I mean, I, I wonder, like, 
I feel some type of way about them fucking dog races. Mm-hmm. You know, once I f- found you out. You saw Juicy got dog. rid of the Greyhounds in Arizona, though. Did he? Yeah, there'll be no more Greyhound races in Arizona, which is good. That's another one I agree. Greyhounds are nice animals whenever you meet them. Yeah, I guess they just, like, kill them as soon as they stop winning and shit. And yeah. they get hurt a lot from running. That's, that's usually what it is, is yeah. I've uh, been to a couple pet smarts and a couple other places around town where I've met some of the Greyhound groups, and they're usually good people and trying to look after the dogs. Um... Thankfully, there are one of those breeds that whenever there is, like, one of these issues where maybe these greyhounds will be put up for adoption because they're no longer needed for some people mm-hmm. because they're just used as race ponds. I mean, this isn't the Westminster Dog Show here where, like, you know these dogs after, like, this, you know, all prodding show and, like, walking around and all shit are going to go sit in, like, a lavish condition for a year and just get trimmed up and live a life. I mean, Westminster's really not that bad. I bet those dogs love that attention. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think the owners are training for that shit. So. Yeah. But I even mean, then, I feel some type of way a little bit. Yeah, I mean, there is something to be said. Because, like, would those, would those dog owners even own those dogs if it wasn't for the show? A lot of them do. Whenever you watch, like, the Westminster Dog Show, there is a lot of those. I thought we were people. Tripping. A lot of those. Guy. Yeah, right. That is Prius. Good. The Prius going 80. <laughs> Dude, way Max faster than 80. That's like 85, 90. Yeah. He's kicking. Man, that, uh, the, the, like the other day, I, yo, he's, yeah, he's definitely in like the 90 because he's cutting. I uh, mean, see, it's not about the car, it's about the driver, my nigga. This thing is just stunned on everybody. Well, today, I mean, everyone, today is, you know, I guess car making sectors, they're all over 110, 120 miles, even those Priuses. Yeah. I mean, Obviously, certain cars have, you know, 160, 170 street legal V8s in them and shit, but even a Prius with a little four-banger can probably put out 110, 120 for it. But you know how the Prius, like... Well, I guess on the highway, it doesn't use any gas. Very it's low. going at a certain speed. Yeah, or it right, cuts it's like over 70 or 65, it's all battery and it's recharging. So it's just like free mileage. I've definitely heard that at that you get up to like 60 miles a gallon or so if you're yeah. doing that highway shit. I think in the city they're like in the mid 40s, which is good. Yeah, it depends how you drive. You know, it was funny. I don't mind people owning Priuses or cool cars for the world, whatever. But the other day I was driving around and I saw a guy that had a Hummer and a Prius in his driveway and I could not help but laugh. I was like, <laughs> I was like, you're a little all over the place. I mean, that's like, dude, that is so weird. I was <laughs> like, I was, I was like, I bet that must be your wife and she must bust your balls and you drive a Hummer. This is probably the guy that goes to the golf course and one foot is he's wearing Reebok pumps, sneakers, and then the other foot he's wearing sandals. <laughs> And he looks at the guy as like uh, he's wearing one one side capris in terms of his pants, the other side short shorts, Daisy Dukes. He strikes me as like the guy that would go to one function in his Prius and act like he's like an environmentalist and then go out on the weekends in Scottsdale and some be like, What's up bros? It's cracking y'all. Yeah. <laughs> they never know. A lot of people do that. I just saw some pictures fucking about he showed me a fucking Oscar De La Hoya cross-dressing. I was like, what is happening? Yeah, there's that all, was super hard. There's been a lot of that. I mean, a lot of it's been debunked, obviously, now that he has Canelo to kind of push Mexico's, like, fan base and doesn't have to be the prize fighter. He can just do his golden boy shit. But right. Oscar De La Hoya has had long battled other demons, whether it be alcohol, cocaine, they yeah, did some pills. He was on a lot of drugs his whole time fighting. Yeah, exactly, because, I mean, back in the 90s and shit, you could take half those barbiturates and find they didn't give a shit. You know his fucking amateur record was, like, 234 wins and six losses? Yeah, fought a bunch and shit. Like, what? You had 300-plus fights, you sick fuck. And he, he knocked out, like, 130 or 160-plus. I can't even imagine fighting 300 rounds in my life, let alone 300 amateur fights and then a whole professional career. Dude, yeah, the professional career after he was like 
46 and 6. Man, I, And he was 46 and 1 until he fucking ran into Hopkins. Yeah. That was like that four year down spiral that he got paid a bunch. Yeah. Because he was still on drugs and shit, wasn't he? Yeah. Except yeah, for a few years. Him. I will say yeah, those, those uh, rabbits. Sick fucks. I do understand the difference of boxing now. It's not as like a American pastime as it was. It should be though. It should be, but since it is barely watched at the Olympic level and you don't know these guys until they're damn near prize fighters, I can't blame guys these days for avoiding GGG because his big fighting style might not really gel. Well, that, and he doesn't have... Triple G is a monster. An absolute monster, but if you avoid him, don't lose, take one of your little belts that you barely give a shit about, because by the time your career's done, do you care if you had seven belts in four weight classes, or eight, or do you want an untarnished record and actually like 80 million in the bank account because you stayed a prize fighter. I can't necessarily blame these guys because the mold's been set by Oscar and Floyd obviously destroyed the mold and maybe never can be replicated Dude, since. Floyd's dumbass. He's scared of Golovkin though. Well, Floyd's not going to fight him because he's like, dude, I'm already old, but at the same time, Canelo shouldn't dodge him. That's the fight that should happen, but guess what? Canelo knows that as soon as he gets a couple more years in, he's got a Latin American fight base. He's got a lot of minority fight base and a lot of white people, too, that are honestly going to start rooting for him because he is a 25-year-old guy from still from, you know, relative close proximity to America. Americans love winners, there's no doubt about it. So if he's like the most media-driven, well-recognized face in boxing for a few years, he's going to get tons of promotions, he's going to get tons of whatever fights, but what's going to happen is, is he's going to be able to sustain the pay-per-view numbers. What you're starting to see is, is pay-per-view numbers are not going to hold unless it's a big fight or unless you've been Floyd Mayweather. And obviously, his fight against Berto, everyone knew it was just like a, I'm going on a sabbatical and cashing my last guaranteed paycheck at like, you know, 32 million plus any pay-per-view gate and all that, and I'm going to get my, you know, 80 million and leave. So that was to be a easy strategy, but everyone knew that give Floyd Mayweather a little bit of time to enjoy his money and give it another couple of years he can easily promote himself and identify a target whether it's McGregor which I see as a very loose ended thing but they're going to both use each other in a media presence I I just don't see McGregor transferring over to primetime boxing this isn't Kimbo Slice going from street fighting to like MMA where it's short bursts I mean the defense and tacticalness of what these boxing guys go about was definitely something that I think McGregor has the striking ability to do, but it's not necessarily in his cards to do. I think it's a yeah, great... I don't, I don't know if he get outboxed. Uh, well, Floyd, it, I think it's highly it, unlikely. I think what they're going to do, though, is they know that they can use each other as a platform to draw in the speculation of Floyd boxing again, not boxing again, mm. us talking about it, you know, other people talking about it. They get all that press just because, you know, they're both very brash personalities can, can latch onto each other. You know, obviously they had the, oh, you know, McGregor doesn't get the same backlash because he's white and I'm black comments that were from a year ago, but... From all inclusive purposes, that just seemed to be a, I guess, media swing that these people were coming. What many people don't realize is these people aren't stupid that are making these rumors going on or letting these rumors persist or anything like that. 
I mean, for common people like me and you, I would never let a rumor persist as long as some of these people. Mm -hmm. I would never let somebody talk about me professionally and leave open to speculation rumors to that. Because I don't get paid for that shit to happen and it actually could get me downgraded. Yeah, I also think that, like, in some sense when you're living it, you're just not aware how much people are talking about it because you're not reading about your life. Really. Well, I mean, when you're at that level, I mean... You are meant to stay in shape and fight every so often and keep your brand up and just brand all the time. Right. So you have every right to let somebody talk a little bit of outside trash or speculate or maybe, you know, maybe since we're, you know, we're trying to have more of a educated talk about it, we still have no idea of what's really going on exactly behind the scenes you know it allows for so many layer of, or layers of sports fans and people just at tmz level of like gossip you know it, it just gives your brand so many outlets to fuel to the people that on the end of these media or media outlets or mediators of the talks get their message across yeah i mean mcgregor might just be Getting his stuff right. back up for them, I mean, and exactly. Floyd might just be getting his name a little hot for his promotional shit. Exactly. Because if, cause if McGregor, might have nothing to do with the fight. McGregor can throw out these random numbers that are higher than he's got from UFC because Floyd's been able to give fighters a, a good chunk of money and still get all his gate and all that. I mean, he was able to split from Pacquiao, and while Pacquiao ran out with like 150, Floyd got well into the 300 million dollar range in that fight. So crazy, and they probably been blowing that fucking money. I mean, Floyd Mayweather has a lot of investments. Manny Pacquiao is the guy that needs to just put his money in a safe place and just kind of go live in the Philippines and run for everything. He could be the professional basketball commissioner, the president. He could be like Pooty Tang of his country. I'm, I'm down to let him just fade off and to be the Pooty Tang of his country. No, fucking, never fades. Exactly, but <laughs> it's just like from America and like sports. I mean, he can just be involved in his own country. Man, that was sort of a crazy ride. Yeah, I got my cooks since we were recording. Yeah. Did you, did you pause? Uh, oh, yeah, I'll pause real quick. Cool. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I resumed it. 26 minutes, 27 minutes. I might let us start a ride on the freeway. We were going up the ramp and you're like, Psh. Yeah. That's about five minutes faster than you usually do. So, yeah, those 85 mile an hour people jumping us up a little higher helps a little bit. Oh, yeah, I mean, that many people are going to drive that fast. Nah, man, 25 minutes of the freeway, freeway is quick. Quick as fuck. What are you expecting us around 10? Yep, told him around 10. And so, yeah, yeah. Yo, you know this this uh, a lot of these mon uh, mountains used to be volcanoes, right? Yeah, I do. So that one is like black rock. Yep. And right near Pinnacle Peak kind of area, it's probably that's another few miles north. We're kind of yeah. This just, is this is Happy Valley. Yeah. Mm, so, maybe so, maybe uh, what is Deer Valley type area? It's Deer Valley type area, but I'm pretty sure these mountains are we're at the foothills of the Pinnacle Peaks. Uh, Pinnacle Peaks over there. Yeah, we are a few miles. Uh, no, this is mile. like this is. I forget what they call this place. Yeah, you're right. And yeah, no, I used to come up in this area, man. My high school, my, where I used to yeah. run around. I used to stay at my homie's house. Um, like over here. Hey, what's up? We. Are